Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hope you're in fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the big wide world. We're back. We're live. We're streaming once again. Um, okay, let's play uh, E5 this time. Knight C6 here. We're gonna start. We'll start with some blitz. We are gonna cover Magnus Carlson, who's playing against um, who is playing against Richard Rapport a little bit later on. So we do have that coming up. So it's gonna be a fun day. Looking forward to it. Should be a fun stream. Hope you guys are all doing very, very well. Let's just castle. Okay, now I could take here on e4 if I want to. I could also play bishop e6. I think I'm just going to take, play bishop e6, maybe queen d7, rook d8 here, put pressure on the center of the board. Feels like a pretty pleasant position for me in this first game as we get the show on the road. <laughs> or as we get the show going, I should say. So, hope you guys are doing really well. We are back. We're live. We're streaming once again, as always. Um, it goes b4 here, not with it really concerns me. I guess I'll go back to a7. There should be two. Let's play, I guess I have rook e8. I have rook a d8 also. I think I'm just going to go Rook D8 here. Goes A4. Idea to play B5. I'm actually not so worried about B5, so I'll go Knight A5 and sack some materials here. So it seems like my position should be decent. Now he castles Queenside, which to me looks kind of insane, if I'm being honest. Um, kind of like really insane. So let's just go... I guess I'll go Knight E7 and maybe Knight G6 here. Knight E5 will take the pawn. If b5, probably just go knight g6 and scoot the queen out of the way. So, all right, you guys. So, we are back as always. We're going to be covering the European Club Cup, which is happening right now in uh, Albania. We'll cover that a little bit later on. Right now, of course, I'm going to play some Blitz to start the stream off. Uh, Mag is playing against Richard Poor, so we'll take a look at that very soon. But right now, we're going to start with some Blitz. Is this the real Hikaru? Yeah, this is not... I'm not AI, you guys. It's not like... I don't know, is the, is the AI still showing or not? Like, there was an AI of XQC a while back, but I don't remember if it... I, I don't know if it's still legit or not. Um, yeah, there, there there was an AI for X, XQC. Um, could play just play Knight 6. I'm going to go A5 here and attack on the queen side, I guess. If F5, I have Bishop A2. I could have maybe sacked as well, but Bishop A2 looks pretty solid just to guard the pawn, open, open the center of the board. This should be very bad for Nico. Should be really bad. I should be like close to loss objectively for White. He's so slow on the on the um, on the uh, king side that it's just take and take, I guess. Assuming I'm not blundering something, e4 should be hanging here. Goes c4, which I guess I kind of understand, but really should not change much um, objectively. Now I could just go b3 and bishop c5. Um, bishop b3 is also a move. What is the quickest way to play this? I think I'm just going to go knight c8 and knight d6 here. Feels a little bit slow, but it should be fine. There's also knight c5 and knight b3, I guess, so... Let's go here. Goes g5. I mean, I think I just take, and then I have knight f5, and I also, I also have bishop e3 here after knight f5, so it should just be winning. Now, there's knight of five with bishop e3. There's also knight c5, which might be winning. Knight of five should be the win, though. Yeah, let's just take, because bishop e3 is a big threat here to checkmate the king if he ever takes. If he goes h7, doesn't work. He goes knight g4. I think knight c5 is winning here. Um, knight g3 is also probably winning. Uh, one of the knights, I don't know which one. Um, knight c5 looks cleanest. Knight c5, h7, I take. Knight of six, I take. And I, I mean, I don't see how he's going to stop all my checks with these knights here. With these knights, I should be winning. Oh, why not queen takes e4? Because if he takes, I have bishop e3 check. And he has to sack the queen. Because the knight guards the bishop and the king has no squares um, due to the diagonal. So that, that's why he can't go queen e4. Should be winning because I don't think he can stop all the mates. Um, I have knight d... Oh, wait. Knight d3 doesn't work. He can sack the queen. Wait, did I just blunder or wait? No, I have queen a3. Bishop b2. Bishop b2, I have knight d3. I can't check because after takes, takes, he has knight f6, which is mate in one. And he goes bishop b2, then I check, takes, takes, knight f6, and the king is safe on f8. There should be gg. Queen b2 is the only try, I guess, but that, that's also getting mated, I think. go check I think b3 is just winning as well because the rook guards knight king c3 queen before is made if he moves I take with check and he, he loses resigns let's keep going one up one down let's play knight of three 
We are going to be covering the um, the uh, ECC very soon. Let's play Bishop D3. Just want to play a few games. Try to get my rating back to respectability. Now, I could just take the pawn here, maybe. I don't know if it's good, but it looks like a free pawn. If I go B4, he has A5. If I play Bishop E3, I don't actually see how he attacks the pawn. So I'm just guarding it. I'm just up a pawn here for nothing. So I'm, I should just win this game, actually. Okay, he goes G5, so... Wait, that's a free pawn. What's... Wait, I can also take with a knight. I don't know what Nico's doing here, but whatever he's doing is not very good. Let's go B4. Uh, drop back to guard everything. He plays D6. Logical. I can just go A4 here. Or takes an A4. Um, he's trying to create something very messy, so... I think I'm just going to go A4 and attack right away. Now, I can take on D6. I can also just take A4. Um... I take take I don't know I'm not really buying it let's just take now let's go b5 just open up the board here immediately so I mean I have two extra pawns here like I just have two extra pawns in the center of the board so long term this should just be winning um if I don't do something insane I could trade and go queen h5 I can also just play like g3 or h3 h3 is probably correct but it feels kind of dubious so I'm just gonna go g3 here well, let's go check and bishop h4 and now there's pressure on this diagonal as well so it should be winning is the arena after three hours oh we're gonna do a fun arena later on as well um probably once i'm on kick but here on twitch we'll be on twitch for a little bit longer today um before going over so um we'll be doing a, an arena we're gonna try to uh collect some of the alphabet openings i think so that from the rosen from the rosen score that people are familiar with so there's some openings that i want to try and collect uh, along the way if possible so See, so if I take bishop e5, I mean, that's fine. I can also just take and go bishop e2 as well, I think, just to hit the knight. And then maybe knight c4, maybe even just c4. Maybe knight f3 is good, too. Uh, h3 allows knight f2, so I don't really want to do that. Knight c4 looks pretty clean here just to hit the bishop. You can obviously take the pawn, but I'll just take and go, like, queen d4. And, I mean, I assume here I should be, should be winning eventually because I have an extra pawn. I have bishops. Uh, he does have this one, which I actually kind of missed. So let's go here. Queen a7 ideas. Can take the uh, knight later on if I have to. I've got rook d1. Should be very, very bad for um, for black. Just can't, I think f3 just wins. Let me double check. Or wait, f3, queen c5, queen d4. f3, bishop c6 takes. Yeah, I think this just wins also because there's pressure on the f file too here. Uh, there's this big threat here so i think this just wins so if i take takes check yeah because if he checks i just block and if he takes i have queen d7 and rook f6 mate so i just win here good two up two down let's keep going why is the layout so small what do you mean is the layout so small thank you cannon fodder what do you mean it's small i don't know what you mean by that um Yeah, not sure what you guys mean by that exactly. Now, if I take check block, it doesn't do anything. Because I have queen d1 at the end. Oh my god, he's got queen e1. Oh my god, he's got queen e1. I only saw... <laughs> I only saw queen c1. Oh my god. What am I doing? I only saw queen c1. I just ruined... Oh my god. I only saw queen c1. That's pretty poor by me. I only saw queen c1, queen d1. I just missed queen e1. Well, that's what happens when it's the first game of the day, apparently. That's ridiculous for me, actually. Completely ridiculous. That's so bad. That's unbelievably bad. Um, but sometimes you have to laugh it off. That's that, It's just that bad. Um, go here and trade. Yeah, that's really poor for me. Really, really poor. I only saw Queen C1. I didn't see... I didn't... Uh, I, I would never make that mistake normally, but I thought that he, I was so sure. I thought I, I thought it was just a clean way. I thought he was trying to cheese me, and I just missed queen e1. I only saw queen c1, queen d1. Yeah, I just go queen a7 and I win the game. Queen a7 check and just takes or rook f6. I mean, literally any other move, but what I did wins. Um, let's play e6. Have to be a little bit careful here. I don't love my position, but I think it's pl somewhat playable. At some point, I have b5. Um, 
I think Rook C5 is a good move. Maybe not. There is B4, which I missed. Yeah, now, now as, as soon as I... Um, there's F5. I, wait, I do have D5 here. Um, D5, E5 takes. D5, Queen G5, A. Oh, I meant to go D5 for... I meant to go D5 first. Oh, I was trying to highlight H6 and I played it. I didn't mean to play H6. I was trying to highlight it that after D5, Queen G5, I have H6, and instead I played it. <sighs> At least I'm not dead lost here. Yeah, great, great start, you guys. Great start. Um, he trades the pawns, which actually I don't think is fantastic. It's still good for... It's still relatively playable for white, but... Here... H6 is the best. Wait, H6 is the actual best move? No, I meant to. I was gonna play D5. What do you? H6 is legitimately the best move. Wait, are you guys serious or you're trolling? Um, I do have D5 here, maybe. Wait a second. I don't want to play Knight E5. I can play Knight E5. Wait, I'm thinking too long. Um, Rook G5, Rook G6, Knight C5. I guess I'll go for this. And knight c5 is my idea. Or knight e5 maybe also. No, I miss playing this though. Yeah. Um, why did I do this actually? No, what am I doing? This is just ridiculous too. There's also just rookie six. There's also queen d4 and rook d8. Like everything, everything's winning here. Oh, there's, yeah, rook d8. Yeah, I just threw this game so hard for no reason. Yeah, I played H6, which was not my intention at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's let's reset it a little bit. I mean, that, that second game that I threw, I never should have lost, but whatever. Yeah, I threw that second game, and then immediately just a horrible third game after that, because I'm a little bit bummed. Um, let's go here. Go here. Need to reset. Wash? No, I mean, if I win the second game, everything's different. I don't lose that third game. Uh, the second game kind of was a big bummer. Because, I mean, I was just winning one move with anything else. Um, go here on Queen H3. Why am I pale? Am I sick? What do you mean am I pale? What are you talking about? What do you mean I'm pale? You're trolling? Oh, it's lighting? No, the light's on. What do you mean? Light, light's on. Lights are on. What are you guys talking about? I could have played D3 first, too, by the way. Yeah, I, I look a little bit pale. Okay. Fair enough. Did I just cheese him? No, this was not a cheese. This is actually a well-known theory. But anyway, yeah. No, that second game was completely winning. I just I didn't win that game, and then the third game was just horrible. Cause that gave him a that gave him a big um that gave him like this big boost. That's the thing. Like when he when he didn't lose that game, like he was supposed to, that gave him this massive boost. Um, he played a good game in the last one. Goes e4 now. I could play d4 here. Um, I don't think e4 is actually the best move here for some reason that he just played. But again, it's not easy to prove this. I am better here, but proving it against, uh, proving it is always difficult. Yeah, I think I go D4 here. I mean, you can just go H6, of course, but. But this is a game that I need to win. I mean, I need to be sharp this game. Now I have H4, which is playable. Um, 
f4 e3 is no good so I either go bishop d2 and castles or I play h4 Queen e7 bishop e3 f4 doesn't look good I could also play d actually d5 is kind of interesting as well um I'm just gonna go here in castles I don't know if this is actually best but it seems reasonable because now my king is castled and I can get the rook to the center I also have d5 here down the road I don't really want to play actually h4 might be good h4 g4 bishop d4 could be very good h4 g4 bishop f4 maybe just I think I'll just go c3 here Knight e4, I can just take, take. I think I'm actually much better here, but proving it's not going to be easy. Um, again, there's h4. I think rook e1. Uh, I actually don't know which rook's going to move this one. The other rook to e1 is also playable with h4 ideas, but I just don't know if it's good or not. So he goes there, um, which is actually... Oh, this is why I should put the other one, because then I have h4, but... If I take, actually 94, I just take on F3. So why am I losing my mind? I should just be much better here again. Um, I can play H3, maybe just rookie one. Go here and take the pawn. I mean, this should be good for me. It's queen E6, but then B3. There's also Bishop G5 lurking too. The so queen D, okay, goes G4, so. Um, h3 trade the pawns now I just blundered again obviously because this is what I do best or wait I have rookie four maybe I also wait bishop c wait Go here knight d4 I have gf5 and I'm winning it's very messy. Queen c6 is also a move. Let's see. Either, he either has a good move here or he's completely lost. I think he's completely lost based on the time usage. Yeah, he's using too much time so he doesn't have it. Okay, I'm going to win this one. Okay, takes. Now I have check. Still tricky. Um, wait, what am I doing? Now it's my turn to think too long. Um, There we go. We got the win. Not a good game, but I get the win. Yeah. Okay. Let's reset. Let's go C5 again. I mean, I thought what he did was bad, just to be clear. So I'm going to play the same, same opening. Play D6 again. B6. <clears throat> I'm going to play the same opening. I thought, I thought I got a decent position. I mean, okay, he's gonna play the same line. Let's trade. I guess I'll go queen b8. I don't even know what queen b8 really does, if anything, but. Also, probably shouldn't be playing this opening. Um, because I just realized there is one slight problem. I'll go a6 here. There is one problem, which is that he gets too many quick moves in this opening. He gets to play like 20 quick moves. Okay, now e6 again is a move. Um, now let's just do it.
Yeah, it was F5, H6 is what I played, right? I think it's, uh, maybe my pawn was on A7 here, I don't know, but it was B4, which I don't really think is a good move. B2, okay, now, I mean, I assume I should play E5 here. If I don't play E5, I don't know what I'm doing exactly, so let's go E5. I mean, I didn't have to play E5, but F5 is a very serious problem to deal with. See what he does. I probably should have played Queen C7 first, though. Takes, I take. He goes queen d2. Okay, logically. He's trying to play like queen g5. Now, again, I have h6, but he probably can sack here. And if I go rook d8, he has queen g5. So, uh, if I go knight g8... I'm just going to retreat the knight. I don't know if it's good, but it's mildly scary to play this position. But I just want to go f6, and then I should be fine. He goes rook f3. Okay, now, however... I think I can just go f6 here. And if knight h5, I just take and I have rook c7. He goes queen f2. Of course, I should play queen d6 to hit the pawn on b4. And take, I guess. And back to e7. That's logical. Um, go here and rook c8 to hit the pawn on c5. Should be okay. So, okay, now... I can blockade the pawn. I can also move my knight. Oh, no. Then he's going to go c6. So let's go here. Let's hit the pawn. Go, I guess, here and reroute the knight, maybe. Okay. He wants to go bishop a2, I guess. Um, and play h5, actually. Knight g5, bishop d5 is playable. I think I'll just go here and bishop e6, probably. Bishop c6, probably. Just blockade and then drop the knight back to e6 and d4. I should be okay here. I should be a little bit better, actually, in this position. Let's go, like, here and then reroute the knight. I should have a small advantage. The bishop should be better than the knight, especially with the weak pawn. Um, let's go, like, here. Maybe h4 somewhere. Go here. Start activating the rooks on the file. There's always h4 here too. Like there's always this h4 trigger. Let's go here. Um, I guess I take with the rook probably. I'm up a lot of time, which is useful. He goes knight h1. Re actually a quite reasonable move. Let's go here and start activating. I can go rook d2 with the kebab on the seventh. And I should win this game pretty soon. Um, let's go here, try to trade the queens. Play the end game just with the, the bathtub. And g1, okay, now. Now the question is how to win. I think a5 is a good first move to go rook c2 and hit the pawn. And knight d3, he loses the pawn. So now I win the game. Perfect. There we go. Hit the win. Let's go again. Oh, uh, let's play knight f3. Play bishop b5 something something more to the point uh let's just castle there's knight d4 he's gonna play this old line okay many ways to play this i'm gonna play one of the more sort of traditional old school approach which is d3 knight d2 there are more challenging approaches than what i'm doing but um let's just play this one now f4 is also a move knight f3 is also a move here um it's a question of which one i want to play for i think i'm gonna play which one do I, I I'm gonna go f4 they're all playable the, all, all the lines are playable here it's just a question of which one I want to go for um go queen g4 and hit the pawn play knight f3 hit the pawn it's f5 which I actually kind of wait I missed it but but wait I missed it but oh he's got knight h6 which I didn't see at all stupid I didn't see knight h6 at all no I misplayed this let's go here Still probably okay, but I'm down 40 seconds. 
I, pre I should have gone queen h4 in this position instead of knight f3 I should have gone queen h4 and then knight f3 because on queen h4 f5 he never gets the tempo to, to jump the knight to the center <clears throat> go here in rookie one why not let's go here if he takes I just take the pawn I mean I have g4 somewhere I also am looking to sack on e6 so cool that your wife is playing and you can thank you appreciate it yeah he takes which I'm very surprised by by the way because now I think push about four g4 I feel like something bad is going to happen in the middle of the board but I could be wrong as well let's go here of course I have rookie five which I mean I see his idea he wants to play like 93 at some point so I think I'm going to go here to hit the rook and then let's go here to hit the rook and then I think I have rookie five I also have rook f2 somewhere I mean maybe bishop f6 was wrong maybe I should have just gone rook f2 first but we'll see yeah I think I made a slight mistake here but I've got to do something fast like bishop c4 I'm gonna go for this this idea of bishop b5 maybe Actually, I don't even know what that does that might just be a bad move because he's 93. Okay, he goes to h6 which go here I have rookie five now I thought then there's queen d6 I'm I'm not up a lot of time here which is another problem five queen d6 yeah if I had more time I think I'd win this but five queen I don't, I don't see it the five gf5 no I mean I can play rookie five but I I don't see it I'm down I'm down so much time I should just make the draw okay yeah I I don't I I think I have to make the draw if I don't make the draw I'm gonna lose the game play the same line isn't getting a rook to b5 good I mean I never should have played I, I think one of my mistake was with after bishop b5 it went bishop f6 that was my mistake never should have done that that was my mistake it was f4 this time okay so now I guess I have to take and play like rook c8 why not Knight g3 again play knight d7 idea to put the knight on c5 or e5 maybe a6 b5 somewhere what time is it where where I am or where he is or where who where what time where I don't know what you mean I'm trying to play f5 um e6 is maybe a move here yeah I'm gonna go e6 I'm gonna go for a positional approach here with like queen h4 probably isn't good but I'm gonna go for it anyway because why not I have two B's he also had knight b5 which was winning by the way he had knight b5 which he didn't see now I've got the two B's at least and there's like rook d3 I mean I played this I was hoping for an end game so I was hoping I could win with the two B's wow he takes okay so now I can take with the pawn or the rook pawn takes allows e5 I mean wait rook c5 no but rook c5 there's gonna be some g5 somewhere too I feel like um yeah I think I should take with the pawn Thank you, Suzanne for the 41 thing Jeffrey Clark they revert and mind flash as well thank you so much for the resubs okay yeah now I'm gonna go g5 again though probably not right yeah probably I should just I don't know whatever who cares the show goes on I also have rook d2 not super happy with the play my play has not been great it goes there so of course I take of course I go here b1 okay now I should be fine though um I should be okay here so we're here in rook d2 maybe I 
I had a six two, but I think rook d seven is more precise here. I mean, takes rook d one look kind of scary. He goes knight d six, so I can take on e five. I can also just take a two though. But then he wants. I don't know what he wants. I'm just gonna take the pawn. This probably is only a draw here, but who cares? He's starting to misplay this just a little bit, though. I mean, it's still. There's rookie three. I can take and play bishop d4, actually. Um. Ooh, that's very tricky. I can also just check. I can also play h5, maybe, to hit the rook. Actually, I, why, not, why did I play h5? That was ridiculous for me. I don't know why I did that. Just not on. Just not on right now. I'm gonna take and play this out. now. Now I just lost the H pawn for no reason. I could have had this exact end game, but I'll go here and hit the pawn on B3. Just want to push the A pawn up the board here. thinking way too long here why is he so slow it takes but now I get this I mean I should have winning chances here for sure okay now I start pushing the P This should be winning for me, especially with the time situation. No, I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna have to flag him, but I'm gonna flag him for sure here. Next game, let's keep going. All right, let's play e4 again. Okay, um, let's play bishop c4, something different. High speed, yeah, I, I, I realized at some point I was gonna need to flag him there. Let's play knight f3. I'm gonna play this one. Um, Not very nice. I mean, he would have done the same thing, though. He would have done the exact same thing. Uh, so, yeah, when you say it's not nice, like, I, I get your point about that, but he would have done the same thing. I've been flagged by him before. That is not the first rodeo. No, if, if it was the first, if it was, like, the first time I'd ever played him, I probably would have made the draw. But I play, I played this guy a lot. Um, and he's flagged me before, too. So, yeah. <laughs> You know who else would have flagged me? The, the actual flagging specialist, I know everyone acts like I'm the big flagger, but the biggest flag specialist is actually Daniel Naroditsky. Uh, he, he's, he's, the bi he's the big flag specialist these days. Um, go here. I had 94 and E5 too, which is actually kind of interesting, but who cares? Uh, now I could try and sack Knight H4. There's just 94, so. Let's just play h3, simple. Stop bishop g4, maybe knight h4, create the little taunts for the king. Um, why am I so slow, by the way? I'm just realizing, why am I so slow? I'm already down like 20 seconds on the clock. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I don't know if I like that move exactly. Let's go here. Let's go here. I, ha I have f4 ideas looming. I mean, you can obviously just go bishop f8, but let's just 
All right, let's trade. Let's go here now. Four. Let's go here to hit the pawn. Probably at some point soon, I'm going to play C3 to try and ship the structure. Like, I think already here, C3 is a pretty decent move to play. I mean, you can go Knight C5, Knight B3, but I'm, I'm not super worried about it, actually. And his Knight on H5 is kind of a little bit misplaced long term. Andrew Ting is playing the US Championship, yes. So he goes C5. So I can obviously trade. So like, actually, now I have Queen B4 and Queen E7, maybe also. Wait. Okay, let's go here. Oh, there's Knight of Four. Yikes. There's Knight of Four, which I just didn't see at all. And okay, then I have to go G3 to cut him off. Yeah, I didn't see Knight of Four. Yikes. That's a big yikes for me. I just want to play Rook C1. And I basically want to argue these pawns are weak and the Knights have no squares. So here. I mean, maybe he's looking for some Knight G5, but I just go King G2. Okay, he goes B5. Um, I mean, Rook C2 is a move, but I think King G2 just to avoid any funky business on like Knight G5 or something is very important. King H2 is also maybe a move. I, I don't know what the best moves were. I think I'm going to try to reroute my Knights now. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to reroute the Knight to F3 and just play this end game maybe. It was F5. Um, actually, why did I allow that? Act. That's not what it. Hmm. That was stupid. I didn't realize he could play f5. Might be some tricks now. I feel like I'm about to blunder something here. I go rook f1. I can also just take on c8. I, I think I have to take this way and take this way and just cover up basically. Very very bad game for me again. I'm still okay here, though. Yeah, I've got Queen D2, luckily. Which saves, sort of saves the game, I guess. Um, okay, now the key is somehow I have to reroute the piece. I have B4 here, maybe. Or B3. Um, thinking too long again. I'm going to go B3 here. Takes the knight. Okay, let's go here. Here, I've got to move quicker. T time is going to matter in this game. We're going to play a game of these knights, basically. Um, go here on king e2. Guard the pawn. Wait, what am I doing? Actually, what am I doing? I'm kind of misplaying this. No, I just blundered. What the heck? Now, what am I doing? Yeah, I just blundered this game for no reason. What the heck? Wait, he might have just misplayed this actually. What is, what is he doing, by the way? Yeah, Nico just threw that game so hard. I don't know what that was. That was insane. That was just insane. I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah, I, I, that was ridiculous from Nico. I, I don't know what, what was in his mind there. I mean, he was winning, and he literally lost every single pawn on the board. Okay, let's castle. Let's go here. Okay, what was my move here? Um, I think it was 97. Yeah, this is what it was. Let's go here. Take. I'll probably play 95 again. Okay, let's play. Was it A6 that I played here? I think it was A6, right? It was A6 and then 95. Then I played E6 trade. You know, let's play this line again. I actually think this line is probably bad for me objectively, but who cares? 
sometimes the brain just leaves for a minute yeah now this was the position I had earlier but the pawn was on a7 now it's on a6 like I was gonna play d5 in the first game I didn't play it wait a second I just need to think now let's go for it a d5 was my move and then I played h6 that previous game when I was trying to highlight queen g5 h6 so this time let's just do it let's just do it yeah this time let's not blunder it because I in, in, those of you who weren't watching like 20 minutes ago I was trying to highlight d5 queen g5 h6 and then I accidentally played h6 in this position so let's see what stocks you have your eyes on currently I'm not watching closely this morning Mark it's actually Nasdaq has gone green which is kind of interesting how's the Nasdaq gone green the jobs report was absolutely horrible how's the Nasdaq gone green interesting interesting anyway all right thank you so much to Douglas FCV thank you G Justice Crisis and Ubasu for the resubs thank you so much so let's see what's he gonna do here he's using a lot of time I mean I, I don't see the move now he goes Queen c3 which gives me d4 which I assume I should play um I mean d4 looks d4 just looks right yeah I mean it just looks right Queen e1 but now I can go like Queen e5 even I know this looks really really good for me he's got a bad pawn on e4 I've got a great Queen here Queen up two actually a pretty good move I actually I kind of I underestimated this move I do have like b5 maybe I know I'm better here but it's a matter of proving it um what am I doing I have b5 but I think I'm just gonna drop back and guard everything like this because the pawn is always super super weak here I mean these pieces are not well placed and I always have rook d8 uh, I guess I'll just play a5 to stop anything on the queen side there's also maybe g5 somewhere too but I don't want to play it yet um okay wait what am I doing let's see um yeah, I don't see any tactics let's just go here there, there are no tricks with fe6 I might play h5 somewhere maybe but we'll see um problem is how do I proceed b5 is not a move um let's go here okay now I can reroute the knight though he he actually blundered because now I can reroute the knight to c5 and now I think the knight's going to be even better placed here knight f5 does nothing because I just take and drop back to d6 and go king g8 I can even just move the king back to h8 as well if I want to there he goes so if I take fv6 I don't know if I have something but I, I just don't want to risk it so I'm gonna go knight c5 here go here let's go here I guess and rook g8 now and e4 is very weak also like this just doesn't look good for white this should be winning for me um that's a pawn of course I should take which is a blunder he had he had knight g3 which was winning by the way but he missed it um doing here do I actually have no move what the heck um um start pushing the P so here in rook c2 is my idea I really messed this up this is completely winning and I played took on e4 like an idiot like a total idiot but I'm way up on clock here so I should still win let's go here I mean surely with the two pawns I'm winning this now I can go here though and win I think yeah now I win uh d2 there we go we got the win very dangerous game I think I messed that up I think he was winning with rookie one actually let's go back 
Yeah, he, I should have played Rook D3 check. Oh, Rook H2, Rook H2 and D3 was winning. Yikes, that was completely winning for me. Not good, but we got the win. All right, let's do one more before we move over to uh, to kick. Let's do one more for the even ten. Okay, let's play the classic Gucci piano castle C3, all very standard. Um, let's go bishop B3. Go knight g3. I'll play d4 here. Go h3. Stop bishop g4, of course. Um, bishop e3, I think, is still supposed to be fine because I can just take with the bishop and activate in the center. I also had knight f5, which I didn't play. Um, queen d2 is still a move as well. And queen d2 with the idea of knight f5, very dangerous here. Okay, let's see. I can play rook d1 still. I don't really want to play bishop c2, but. I think rook d1 is still fine. Goes bishop c6. Now I have d5 if I want it. I don't, I don't think I want it though. So let's go bishop c2 and just guard the pawn on e4. Knight f5 lurking again. Uh, queen c1, I believe, is also playable. Yeah, queen c1 should still be fine. Just to dodge any d5 business here in the center. He okay, goes bishop b8, which looks fairly wrong. Um... I think just d5 and c4 is supposed to be very good for white here. I've got a lot of space. He goes c5. b4, I think, is a move. Um, I can also just take. I think I'm going to go for this one with like knight d2, knight b1, knight c3, maybe. Actually, knight d2 is probably not right. I should play knight h2. Go here, knight c3. This is my whole idea. And now I. He sacks a pawn with knight d4. Now, I can take the pawn if I want it. Um, actually, I, I don't understand this. Just like rook d2. No, this this is actually very bad what he's done. This is not this is not right. Um, trying to go like queen e7 or something, I guess. I mean, knight d5 is a move. Knight f5 is a move. So this typical Nico Theodore. Just play somewhat bad... Somewhat, somewhat questionable, um, somewhat questionable pawn sacrifices for play. Very typical game from him. I mean, in a classical game, he would lose this game for sure. Because in classical chess, this would not work. Not even close. But of course, I, I missed something again. I have to go here and play for f4, I guess. It's still pretty good, but I have queen h5, maybe? No, then knight g4. Yeah, see, I've, I've must. Although, I guess I just have knight f5. Yeah, this is fine. I just take with a pawn. Now there's knight d5 also. I think he has to take, actually. If I were to play g3, he sacks the queen. He's knight of three, fork and the queen of the king. So he takes. So again, I have knight d5. I can also just take the pawn. Um, I'm worried that there's some knight f3 nonsense with like queen h4. I go knight d5, bishop g4, I just take. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Hopefully, it's not losing. I don't see any tricks here. It should be fine. Anand is making some quick draws these days. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think if I were to take, there's some funny knight f3, queen h4, which might be a draw. There's some funny sack there. So, that's why I think knight d5 is right. Yeah, so now I take, of course. Okay, now I'm just much better if I can just play some good moves. f6, also a strong move here. Queen g4, also a strong move. Um, I think just queen g4, why not? Oh, but I'm down on time. I'm way down on clock, I just realized. So I got, I gotta go. I don't have all day. Let's go like g3 and king g2. Yeah, now I should win. Um... Um, let's go here. Of course, I found a way to blunder this too. 
But I have check and meet, and I think he's lost anyway. It's a question whether he can dodge a checkmate or not. Rookie two is better also, but. He might resign here. There we go. All right, we got a nice big dub finally. So we beat him eight to two, pretty good result, eight two.